Okay, we're back. Uh, we're trying this again. I put some points, more points. You can actually buy points from the that uh, NPC. So that's what I did. So we have a lot more willpower, a lot more strength. So I'm trying this again, guys. It's nuts. I've tried this, I don't even know how many times. It's crazy. Uh, we're holding out like the last area again. I'm much stronger, but I don't know if it's really helping out much. I mean, it obviously is, but we need to push them back to the beginning, and that's not that. Uh, these tremendous Temindorus guys are absolutely insane. We need mana. We do not have a lot of mana at all. We killed one. Something, I guess. Right, two minutes left. We're gonna try our best. Let's see how how that is, though. We do a lot more damage, damage, which is nice. We have a lot more health. How many Nether bombs here? We'll completely negate that spell damage. Very nice. It's gonna start damaging us. I think we may have it. A minute left. There's gonna be a very large attack coming in. Uh, let me go ahead and actually save here. Uh, this is hold out. Let's call this a minute. If I do this, I'd be very, very happy and very surprised. <laughs> but I can explain why I'm much stronger now. Later. I have already, though. Uh, so, we're gonna do our best. Okay. Ice grenade. So basically, you just need a lot of AoE. There we go. And once they're frozen, they take more damage. Pretty much that's how it works. Pretty much everything. Okay, a minute left. Okay, here's where like four of these guys come in. And I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. We can have them follow me, 54 seconds. Forty-six seconds. Thirty-seven seconds. Let's keep healing him. Oh, we had it. We had it. Okay. Whew. If I had gotten that, uh, all I needed, all we need to do is survive. Uh, we had that uh, ability, so we get our mana back, and then we can heal more. The more mana we have, the more healing power. I think I'm pretty sure that's, yeah. As our mana drains, we we suck. We Basically, we don't do any damage. We don't do any healing. Okay, let's try this again. I'm not even going to waste that on this guy. Let's try to get down here. Fight down here a little bit. Ice grenade right there. We can't let these guys just stroll in here. Hit the big one. We need to heal ourselves. There we go. He's healed up. I think we I think we can do this, guys. I really Well Maybe we can have them chase us around. Chase me. 52 seconds. Don't go up there. Okay, here's where it's gonna get crazy. Yeah, don't go up there. Alright, let's use nether bonds. All our mana back. And we just heal him. Heal him. They're damaging me, that's great. Okay. Now we get out and we heal him. 23 seconds. There's too many. I had to keep. How much time was left? Whew. <laughs> We got this, guys. We got this. Oh, we got this. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Uh, we're getting closer. For, for you, those that don't know what I'm playing, this is Iceborne. Go watch my previous videos, please. If we had like a critical strike chance, that would be amazing. Okay, that freezes all of them. Use the artifact. We'll do take more damage. Yeah, we want we don't want them coming up up top. We don't want them coming up 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 top. We want them down here as long as possible. We want them fighting down here. Okay, 
44 seconds. Did I die? Oh, I must have ran into... 37 seconds. Let's load again. I must have run into... See, that's the thing. If we were closer to where they spawned, like, we would have this. No problem. We could just run around for a minute. I mean, remember, it's a minute in-game, so it's less than a minute. Actual game time. So let's get healed up. Get this mana. It's important. Have these guys chase us. We'll pop this crystal. I'm trying to use our spells. That was unnecessary heal. Okay, you're gonna just have have them chase us. Use the artifact. These guys will take more damage. No, come over here. These guys really do not like going for me, do they? I mean, sometimes they do. 52 seconds. Maybe I should just save my mana for healing and not dying. Okay, here's where we run in there. Nether bombs. Nether bombs. We don't take any damage. Any spell damage. Oh, f fuck. I, ha I had it. I had it. 23 seconds. Look how many are coming in, though. Uh, I was trying to use the shield, so we're invulnerable for like five seconds. I mean, that'll save us five seconds. That's it, though. But we w basically want them to be attacking us as long as possible before they go, and then we run, and then we, we heal Thunthrak. Okay, let's get heal up. healed up. Get the mana crystal. Let's wait. Draw as many in it as we can. Okay, use our A ability. That's good. We need to kill at least some of these guys. Okay. There's a crystal over here. Basically spam our abilities. Uh, run away from those beans. beams. Okay. Uh, now we need a mana. So we have our mana back. Now we should just heal them up. Let's use nether bonds. And just keep healing them. Watch your health. Watch your health. Watch your health. Okay, here. Cast it. Okay, here's where we run. 23 seconds. And I'm dead. 16 seconds. I think I can do it. Maybe I'll save again. Where it there's so many that come in. It's crazy. And these guys don't stop. They go straight for Thumthrak. They like kind of, like you, you pinch them. They're like, hey, what's that? There's a little squirrel. Nope. It's Iceborne. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, guys. All right, heal ourselves. And that's why you need multiple saves. Because one save is not going to cut it. Ooh, he froze all of them. Kill all of them. Okay, down he goes. It's pretty. That was a decent. Maybe we save. Uh, we'll call this. I don't know. Minute, part two. This is actually a minute. Okay, and then our artifact actually disables these guys. So that's another reason we want to be up here doing damage to these guys. They don't do much damage, they just do a lot of spell damage. Which we can avoid. Like that. Heal him up. Out of mana. Let's get our mana back. Maybe we just try to run. Heal him. Nope. It's close. Close, though. How much? 20 seconds. I feel like I need to fight further out. 
Hmm. I feel like I'm so close, but 20 seconds is a long time when there's like 10 people. <laughs> 10 of those giant <laughs> guys. So what if we have them run around in circles? Will they chase me? What if we just ignore that one? And have the rest of the guys chase me? Okay, now we're invulnerable. Uh, it's not gonna end up well for us. I'll tell you that. So if he can survive a, a beating, that's actually not that bad. Do you think he could survive 30 more seconds of that? Like one guy hitting him if the rest of them just chase me for 30 seconds? I don't know, maybe. Wow, let's test it out. I don't know if I can survive 30 seconds running around. Oh, I feel like we're so close, but... Yet so far. Chase me. I don't, let's just try it. Not gonna hurt. Let's see how many people. You see, if we could lure them all the way out here, we would have it for sure. 38 seconds. Let's see how long he survives for. 33 seconds. Okay, here's where we get out of here. Okay, 30 seconds. He can't survive longer than that. Okay. This is the last wave. There's no more. Okay, so we have to at least kill one of them and then lure the rest out, but we can't, we just can't kill one that fast. Maybe if we get Ice Wrecker out, he'll die in two shots, so. All right, let's try. This is stupid. Ice Wrecker, do your thing, buddy. That's actually not bad. That's actually, we saved a lot of time. We killed a lot of stuff. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? Let's load. You guys are seeing all of these fail at attempts. Don't worry, there's a lot more that you're missing. And uh, probably thankful that you don't have to watch all of this. I mean, you don't have to watch any of this, but I appreciate you do if you are watching. And if you are, you know who you are because I'm talking to you right now. Okay, let's wait for Nether Guards up and then we'll summon Ice Wrecker. In the meantime, let's just, I don't know, poke them. Avoid damage. Get our health back. Ice Wrecker, your only hope, buddy. Okay, yeah, there's a delay because lots of triggering. Uh, maybe Ice Wrecker was the key. We can just freeze them. I don't know, 30 seconds. Should we save here? I think it's. I think it's pretty good. And we can freeze them. We're full health. There it is. All right, freeze them. Now we just hold on for dear life. Just heal. We have a lot of health. A lot of mana. Seven seconds. I think we've done it, Ice Wrecker. You're the light, you're the way! Oh my god. We've done it. My gratitude. Absence of stone means lost advantage for the first guy century. I may provide you goods of the highest quality as we all work together against Rathal. Oh my god. We've done it. 
I don't even know what to buy. The absolute madman. Oh, we don't have enough for it. Uh, critical strike, we have enough for that. It's an item, right? Oh no. It's a W ability? Oh no, that's the hotkey to buy it. It's like, what? There's 30% chance of Soul Bolt and Verda Strike causing a critical strike that doubles, deals double damage. Oh my, I can't believe we did it. Let's just take a moment, guys. This is taking me hours. Like, at least three hours to beat this 10 minute holdout map. Okay, so what I did, you can, you'll notice that my stats are much higher than the previous video that I put out. So I had a ton of Kristenite. So I went back, where is he? I'm not gonna go back, but I went back to the Hill of Crystallic Tree and he actually, he sells basically tomes. For four Kristenite, you can put a point into Vitality Protection at Willpower. So I put them, I put one point into Protection, which is basically armor. Every two points you get increased armor by one. And then the rest, mostly into willpower, like a three to one ratio in vitality for more HP. Because I was thinking, the more HP you have, that that helps against physical and spell damage. Whereas protection only works against oh, so all the bad guys. Just uh, all the corpses despawned. Let me go around here see if there's anything else to pick up while we're here. Let me go and save. Let me save before something bad happens. Uh, let's just use. Uh, Iceborne 3. Save. Overwrite. Oh man, that was one of the toughest things I've ever encountered. Um, so I, yeah, I put a po bunch of points, and once you get enough, I mean, basically putting points, that's how you gain levels. And once you gain a level, I think you get a, an extra point in each one. You get more HP and stuff. So it's great. It, it really is fantastic, and I'm very happy I, I did that, and it, it made that section a lot, a lot easier. So I also don't know what this book is, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Fully weaken four generators to shut down energy supply for vault stores. Okay. I'll read that next time. I just want to see... Yeah, Essence of Power. I, I completely missed that. Okay, let's put that into... Let's make it even... Uh, I think Willpower. Willpower has saved me a lot. So I gained a level, so I actually got a point of Vitality Protection and another point to Willpower. So after we have enough now to buy anything that he's selling, I think... Oh man, I'm glad I was recording that too. You guys missed most of it, I think, but... Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> so we're going to read what that book has to offer next time. And... Uh, fully looking for generators. Maybe the generators up there? I don't know, I'll figure it out. But I'm just so happy right now. I'm so happy. We, we completed that. And I just want to... It's not a retrospective on this map, but it seems like... This is going to be a shorter video, so I just wanted to say that, like, okay, so we walked in this area. We had to escort him. Enemies started attacking him right away, and he's just working his way up here. In the meantime, you have to, there's th these three crystals that are probably absolute must, if you're an average player like me, to activate. So you have to do all those three while... As soon as he gets up here, like the first enemy wave spawns in a matter of seconds. It's not that long. There's an artifact over here, which you pretty much have to get <laughs> to be able to complete this. It's of course it's hidden. Luckily if you have health bars on, it shows them. It shows like a little tiny health bar. And then there's like two other chests out here. You have to then you have to walk your way back here, fight through enemies, complete like destroy uh, kill an entire wave before you get over here to where they spawn and I'm pretty sure you have to like you have to start in this area if you just hang out by him they're gonna start doing damage if you're over here you're this artifact the sword that we're holding which is really cool to by the way that items you pick up actually modify looking at your character which is really cool uh, it actually disables enemies so the more distance they have to travel, the more they're being shot at by those crystals, the red crystals, the more chance that they get to be disabled, and just the more damage that are dealt to them. So somehow you have to come back up here, and once you do, the final waves, I don't know how you can survive up here, you, you eventually have to start, it's like a slow retreat. 
And then if you can get back, like I was about, like the two minute mark, and just save and just keep trying. Keep, tr keep trying, you may have to restart the whole thing over again, but just keep trying. So I'm like at two minds of like the whole, like there's, I, okay, first of all, this was an optional quest that I'm pretty sure we had to do to, to be able to defeat that damage meter box. That's in the next year. I'm pretty sure we had to get the Valum and Dory, and there's probably an item, like the Critical Strike one, that we will have to buy in order to get through that thing. Um, and there's probably like this optional, this Book of the Truce, this quest starter. This is completely optional, which according to this game, and <laughs> that'll probably give us a really good item or maybe an additional ability. We still have two slots here. So that ability or item is probably needed to continue. So just if you are playing this, just know that the optional quests are not optional. Just do them all. And the NPC even tells you, like, no, I don't want to do this quest. That's an option to, to tell the NPC, but you kind of have to do it. And I have had the guide open for most of it and just been checking to make sure I haven't missed anything. Because I know, for example, Azathin was playing this campaign. I watched some of it, of his playthrough. And the Mapmaker AP project, like, basically told him, like, you missed uh, a really important ability that you'll need later on. You kind of just have to start all over. I do not want that happening. Because I've already played hours and hours of this. I'm really enjoying it. It's really unique. Uh, that was a really difficult se section. And I'm, it's very fulfilling that I've completed it now. But I think I'm going to take a break. And stop the video here. I've been talking long enough. I'm just really ha happy. When I'm happy, I, I guess I talk more than when I'm sad. <laughs> okay, this is Deltran. Thanks so much for sticking with us, sticking with Iceborne and me. He's a cool looking fellow. I don't know how he survives in this world, but got some cool abilities. Ice Wrecker, Ice Wrecker was key. They did a lot of damage to him. Uh, he basically acted as, as a very weak tank and yeah, we managed to survive that holdout. So, so the next video, I'll be trying to complete this optional quest. Serath of Truce, I'll be reading it, we'll bite an item and probably get through the damage meter, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take three hours. All right guys, Deltron, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye everyone.